I come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every sickness in your body, I don't know what is called, but there is a name higher than every other name. Another mention of that name. Every knee has got to bow. Every sickness has got to bow. Whether in the heaven or in the earth or under the earth, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. I command sickness to come out. I command sickness to come out. I command barrenness come out. High blood pressure come out. Disease come out. I don't know what you're going through. There is power here today. It will set you free. It will deliver you. It will lose you. I don't know how long you have suffered. There is power here. It will set you free. It will lose you. I don't know who you are. Lift your hands and say, Lord. Yeah. I came to get answers tonight. To Come on, say, Lord. Lord. I came to get answers tonight. I came to get Everybody answers tonight. break your Bible. Book of Joshua chapter number 7. In verse number 25. And Joshua said, Why have you troubled us? The Lord shall trouble you as you have troubled us. The people are too quiet. Why have you troubled us? The Lord shall trouble you this day. And all of Israel stoned him with stone and burnt them with fire. And after they have stoned him with stones, Lift up your right hand and say, Lord, tonight, tonight as, I pray, as I pray, trouble them that trouble me. Trouble My that God, trouble I can feel your passion. Say, trouble them that trouble me. Trouble them that trouble Come me. Come and say, Lord, Lord, trouble them that trouble me. Trouble them that trouble, trouble me. Them Trouble my children. Trouble them that trouble, trouble, trouble my family. Trouble them that trouble, 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 trouble me. Trouble them that trouble me. My God, you may be seated tonight. My goodness, I feel pressure. The devil is in trouble tonight. I say Satan is in trouble tonight. Witchcraft is in trouble tonight. The enemy is in trouble tonight. My God, we arise. And every man that troubles you, my God will trouble them. I say power will trouble them. The Holy Ghost will trouble them. The fire of God will trouble them. The angels of God will trouble them. Power will trouble them. Say, Lord, as they have troubled me, as they have troubled, troubled me, them tonight. Trouble them tonight. In Job, chapter number 14 and verse number 1, Job said, Oh, a man born of a woman, his days are few, but they are full of trouble. A man born of a woman. His days on the earth are few. But they are full of trouble. <laughs> Understand when I tell you. Trouble is not a random occurrence in life. Behind every trouble, there is a troubler. Trouble is not a happenstance. Trouble is not coincidental. Trouble is not accidental. Whenever you see trouble, look for a troubler. Behind every trouble, there is a troubler. I came today by the power of the Holy Ghost. I came to expose any man behind your trouble. I came to expose the evil behind your trouble. The witch behind your trouble. Any man or woman that has a hand in your current trouble.
power. Power will expose them. Amen. Fire will expose them. Amen. The Holy Ghost will expose them. Amen. Say, Lord, Lord. trouble them. Trouble them. In Job chapter 3 and verse 26, Job said, I was on my own. I did not trouble anyone. I did not vex anyone. He said, yet trouble came. I was on my own. In my own peace and serenity. I did not tamper with anything. I didn't mess with anyone. I said nothing evil about anyone. I wish no one evil. I minded my own business. But yet trouble came. My God. The Bible says in John chapter number 5. In verse number 4. The Bible says at a certain season. There came an angel of the Lord. It says an angel went into the pool. And troubled the water. The water was in tranquility. Until a spirit came. And troubled the water. The Bible says. When you read. In the book of First Kings. Chapter 18. And in verse number 17. The Bible says. Ahab said to Elijah. Are thou he that troubled Israel? I like how Elijah answered back. He says I am not the one that troubles Israel. It is you and your father's house. It is you and the witchcraft of Jezebel. Hear me child of God when I tell you. There are many in trouble today. Because there is a witch somewhere. There are many today. You are in trouble. There is trouble in your marriage. There is trouble in your business. There is trouble in your career. There is trouble in your health. Trouble in your family. Hear me when I tell you Behind every trouble There is a wicked one Trouble is an invention Of wickedness Trouble is an invention Of an evil heart Trouble is an invention Of a wicked mind There are many of you now You are going through troubles Series of troubles Troubles you can't explain Troubles that have kept your worst spot Troubles that have hindered your job they hindered your career but hear me today God said to tell you any man behind your trouble we will bring them to the valley of Akko we will bring them to the valley of Akko the Bible says and they brought Akan to the valley of Akko and they stoned him with stone and they burnt him with fire I came to prophesy any man or woman behind your trouble we bring them today to the valley of Akko. We stone them with stone. Amen. We burn them with fire. Amen. We stone them with stone. Amen. We burn them with fire. Amen. We stone them with stone. Amen. We burn them with fire. Amen. Fire, fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down. The Bible says Israel was on their journey to the promised land. They had just conquered Jericho. As huge and as insurmountable as Jericho was, they took it piece of cake. When they left Jericho, they were so boisterous with power. They said the next country is so little. It's called Ai. Ai. And so the Bible says, they say, let's not send the entire army. Let's just send but a few. And the Bible says, when they came to Ai, these same people that just whooped Jericho, Ai whooped them like babies. They lost and were defeated before their enemy. They lost their men. They lost their women. They were embarrassed by a little enemy and the bible said joshua went before god he said what happened how can we be so embarrassed beating like babies before our enemies how come we suffer defeat 
feet in the hands of our enemies and they began to pray they began to fast and the bible says in the midst of that prayer the lord said to joshua he said there is a troubler there is a wicked man in the congregation there is somebody in the midst that has caused the current trouble and the bible says and the lord began to by prophecy locate the one behind this evil and they located him his name was called akan tell somebody akan now here is the thing the name akan coincidentally accidentally it literally means trouble hello i said the name akan a c h a n it means what trouble actually not just trouble it means a troubler the name akan means what a troubler I like how Joshua handled it. The day they located him in Joshua chapter 7 in verse number 24 the Bible says and Joshua and Israel they took I can tell somebody we will take them today. They brought him with the silver the garment and the wedge of gold his sons and his daughters his oxen and his asses his sheep and his tent and all he had they brought them to the valley of Akko tell somebody valley of Akko what does Akko mean the word Akko A-C-H-O-R it means trouble so they carried trouble they brought him down to the valley of trouble hey they took Akan to the valley of trouble I came today with the force of grace I don't know the Akan in your life and destiny I don't know the Akan responsible for your defeat I don't know the Akan responsible for your pain I came today Pull them down Amen. to the valley of Akko. I pull them down Amen. to the valley of Akko. And I command the stones of God to fall upon them. Amen. We stone them with stone. 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 Amen. Any witch in your father's house. Any witch in your mother's house and the strong man in your destiny i bring them down Amen. to the valley of Akko. i bring them down Amen. to the valley of Akko. we stone them with stone 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 you don't serve a dead god you serve a mighty god he's the same yesterday he's the same today He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power on your side. Grace on your side. Lifting on your side. Let one of us say, Lord. Lord. Trouble there. Trouble there. Raise your hands and Lord. Lord. Trouble there. Let your legs say law. Trouble there. Trouble there. Let your right leg say law. Trouble there. Trouble there. Turn around say law. Trouble there. Trouble there. Scatter yourself say law. Trouble there. Trouble there. As they have troubled you. Jehovah we trouble them today. Amen. He will trouble them today. Amen. Somebody said trouble them several times. Trouble them. Say it again. 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 Trouble them. The Lord is one. Trouble them. If you are watching online, type it now. Say God trouble them. Say God trouble. Type it now. Hashtag Lord trouble them. Ali Mama. You sit down. Sir, 
there are troublers. Hear me when I tell you. Trouble is not a random occurrence in life. Wherever you see trouble, look for a troubler. In Ezra chapter 4 and verse number 4, the Bible says, and the enemy rose up. When the people of God were building the temple of God, the Bible says, and they weakened our hand. They weakened our hand and they did what? Troubled them in the building of the house. You are not hearing me. They were building the tabernacle of God and the enemies attacked them. They weakened their hand and they troubled them in the building. Sir, what is your purpose? What project do you have at hand? What do you have in mind? What dreams do you have for yourself? Sir, this is where the enemy comes. You have this desire. You have this aspiration. You have these dreams. You have these goals. You have all these things laid down. And the enemies arise. Trying to weaken your hand. To trouble you. In the building of the project. When the enemy came. They weakened their hands. What does that mean? It means they had no more finance. They had no more funds. They had no more money. For the building project. They began to build. But suddenly money finished. They began to build. Suddenly money stopped coming. So this was not normal. It was because the enemy came. And they made them to seize. In verse number 5. The Bible said they hired witches. They hired wizards. To frustrate their purpose. They hired witches. To frustrate them. They troubled their business. They troubled their agenda. But I came to prophesy. Anyone troubling you. Anyone troubling your children. Anyone troubling your career. Anyone troubling your destiny. I lift my hand to the heaven. My God shall trouble them. Amen. I say, my God shall trouble them. Amen. Whether it is your father-in-law or your mother-in-law. Whether your father's house or your mother's house. Any man in your village troubling your children, troubling your life, troubling your marriage. Fire will trouble them. Amen. Angels will trouble them. Amen. The Holy Ghost will trouble them. Amen. Power will trouble them. Amen. We trouble them. Amen. Say, Lord. Amen. Trouble them. Trouble them. Say, Lord. Lord. 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 Say, Lord. Lord. Say, Lord. Lord. Say, Lord. I know what you are thinking. I know what you are thinking. Pastor, didn't God say, bless them that curse you? Why are we troubling them that trouble us? Why are we not blessing them that bless us? How come you are giving us scriptures from the Old Testament? I'm so glad you are a prolific Bible reader. Can we run to the New Testament? In 2 Thessalonians, in chapter 1 and 6, in 2 Thessalonians, Paul said, it is a righteous thing. It is a righteous thing for God to recompense trouble. It is a righteous thing for God to recompense trouble to them that trouble you. He said, God does not bless them that trouble you. He will trouble them that trouble you. I profess by the righteousness of God. 
Your troublers shall be troubled. Amen. Your troublers shall be troubled. Amen. Your troublers shall be troubled. Amen. God will trouble them. Amen. Power will trouble them. Amen. Somebody say, Lord. Lord. Yes, if you are watching online, touch the like button and type for that trouble them. Say trouble them seven times. Type it now. Trouble them seven times. We just came from Minnesota. And every time I see things like this, my heart aches. My father called out a young lady. This girl is no more than 18 by her looks. The girl was partially blind. And partially lame, unable to stand on her own. She had become skin and bone. Her legs look rickety. She cannot stand on her own. My father in the Lord looked at this young lady. He said, This one was supposed to be a great scientist. How many saw that? This one was destined to be a great scientist. Her mother hollered back. He said man of God, my daughter is not just, in, was not just in the honor roll. She was in the honor roll of honor roll. Are we together? There is honor roll. Among those in the honor roll, there are the elites. She was among the elites of the honor roll. The enemy saw where she was going and they afflicted her today. Today, the, she came to the crusade partially one eye blind, both legs almost crippled, looking. And I said to myself, Lord, what manner of wickedness is this? This child is not even 10, not even 20. Who did she offend? Who did she offend? Sir, she offended no one. Trouble saw her tomorrow. There is a troubler in the family. There is a troubler that knows her. This affliction is not random. It didn't come from external forces. There is a power in the family. There is an evil in the father's house. There is an evil in the mother's house that saw where this child was going and they troubled her. And today, I am here to profess her. Any wicked man, wicked woman that has seen your future, your children's future, they have seen your tomorrow. They know you are going to be great. They know you are going somewhere and they are troubling you today. I profess her, the God of heaven, wherever they are, whether they are sleeping or they are walking, whether they are awake or they are sleeping, Holy Ghost, we trouble them. I said, Power, we trouble them. Amen. Angels, we trouble them. Amen. I said, They will trouble them. Amen. As they have troubled you, fire, we trouble them. Amen. Power, we trouble them. Amen. Say, Lord, Lord, trouble them. Trouble them. Troublers, troublers, troublers of destiny, troublers of your tomorrow, troublers of who you are going to be. No wonder Paul said in Galatians chapter 6 and verse number 17, he said, let no man trouble me. From today, enough is enough. Yeah. Galatians 6 and 17, he said, enough is enough from today. From today, I have tolerated trouble too long. I have endured today. No man troubles me, Amen. for I bear on my body the mark of Christ. I mark you today Amen. with the markings of Jesus. Amen. I mark you today 
with the mark of Christ. Amen. They will trouble you no more. Amen. They will trouble you no more. Amen. They will not trouble your children. Amen. They will not trouble your health. Amen. They will not trouble your finance. Amen. They will not trouble your family. Amen. I put a mark upon you. From today, when witches see that mark, they will run from you. Amen. When the enemy see that mark, they will run from you. Amen. I put a mark upon you. It says, touch not my anointed, do my servant no harm. I put a mark upon you. It said, no weapon from the gate you shall prosper. I put a mark upon you. Surely they will gather, not by God, whosoever shall gather against you, they shall fall for your sake. I put a mark upon you. Eaters of flesh, drinkers of blood, they will eat your flesh. Amen. They will drink your blood. Amen. I put a mark upon you. If they monitor you, they will die. Amen. I put a mark upon it. you. If they touch you, they will expire. Amen. I put a mark upon you. And the arrow the fire, it will backfire. Amen. I put a mark upon you. You will escape. Amen. I say I put a mark upon you. Every bit they dug for you, they will fall into it. Amen. I put a mark upon you. Anyone that curse you, they shall be cursed. Amen. I put a mark upon you. You are protected. Amen. You are preserved. Amen. You are protected. Amen. You are preserved. Amen. You are protected. Amen. You are preserved. Amen. I don't know who you are, but get ready. What God is about to do, I have not seen, ears have not heard. He does not enter the heart of man. What God will do, it shall be good measure. It shall be pressed down. It shall be shaken together. It shall be running over. Shot fire, 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 Shot fire, 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 Say fire, fire, Lord. Fire, 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 Troubling me, troubling me, troubling my children, troubling my children, my family, my family, my sibling, my sibling, my parents, my parents. As I pray, as I pray, trouble them, trouble them, trouble them, trouble them, trouble them, trouble them. Open your mouth. Jesus. Amen. Hear me. 
God that has a track record Sir. of bringing men out of trouble. In Jeremiah chapter number 33 and verse number 3, he said, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. I serve a God that has a track record bringing men out of trouble in Psalm 107 in verse number 6 he said and they cried unto God in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress they cried to God in the midst of trouble and he brought them out I prophesy over your life I don't know the trouble you are in I don't know the trouble in front of you the trouble in your marriage the trouble in your business even in your health but I cry to God I cry to God yes, you are coming out today Amen. you are coming out today Amen. you will come out of trouble Amen. I say come out of trouble Amen. I say come out of trouble Amen. I say come out of trouble Amen. lift your hands lift your hands my God as I pray as I... any man or woman behind my trouble I drag them to the valley of Akko. Lord, I stone them with stones. Amen. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. They brought Akan. What is Akan? Trouble. What is Akan? Troubler. Akan means what? Troubler. Troubler. They took the man, brought him to the valley of Akko. What is Akko? Trouble. Trouble. They brought him to the valley of Akko and they stoned him with stones. We are going to follow that Bible template. Are we in agreement? Sir. Lift your right and say, Lord. Lord. As I begin to pray. As I begin to any pray. Man or woman, any man or behind woman. Behind my losses. Behind my losses. Behind my disappointment. Behind my disappointment. Any man. Any man. Or woman. Or woman. Behind my losses. Behind my losses. Behind my disappointment. So not. I bring them down. Bring them down. I stone them with stones. I stone them with stones. Let them stone. expire. Let them expire. Clap your hand and fire prayer. Shabagada bado sagada ya. Rato sabagi da bado shagado. To the valley of Akko. Iya koto shoba kriada. Leto kaya bringe. To the valley of Akko. Losses in my relationship, losses in my business, any loss in my life, in my destiny, any man or woman behind my losses in my relationship, I bring them to the valley of Akko, to the valley of Akko. I stone them with stones. I stone them with stones. Stone them with stones. You wicked man, wicked woman, in my father's house, in my mother's house, in the family I married to, responsible for my losses, I drag you down to the valley of Akko. I turn you with stones, you man or woman, responsible for my defeat, for my shame, for my delay, for my stagnation. I drag you to the valley of Akko. I turn you 
Let the voice of prayer ascend to the heavens. Let the voice of your prayers ascend to the heavens. Open your mouth. Stone them with stones. Stone them with stones. Behind it, 
Troubles what? Israel. Troubles what? Israel. Israel. Israel is a family. Are we together? Is it what? A family. a family. So what's your family name? Thou troubler of my family. You will call your family name. Are we together now? Yes, sir. You will call your family name. Thou troubler of the Agahawa family. In the name of Jesus. I stone you with stones. I burn you with fires. Are we together now? Yes, sir. If you are watching online, type your family name. Type it now. As we are praying this prayer, the God of my father will visit your family. Amen. And the troubler of your family, the troubler of your family, where the men are almost useless, the women are not good. Nothing good till now has emerged from your family. Sir, somebody is troubling your family. I said, somebody is troubling your family. How come everybody is going through stagnation? Any trouble of your family, the God of my father, he will burn them with fires. He will stone them with stones. Lift up your right hand. Say, Lord, Lord, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, any man or woman, any man or woman, trouble my family, trouble my family, say, thou troubler, thou troubler of my family, of my family, call your family name, say, thou troubler of the Agawa family, thou troubler of the Agawa family. Jesus, wherever you are, I turn you with stones. I burn you with fire. I turn you with stones. I burn you with fire. Open your mouth. Yeah. 
Every one of you, any coven where witches and wizards gather and they are troubling you, they gather to trouble your marriage, they gather to trouble your children, they have even troubled your finance, they have troubled your health. Right now, in the name of Jesus, wherever that coven is, whether in your village, your hometown, I burn them with fire. Amen. I say I burn them with fire. Amen. I burn them with fire. Amen. It will burn to fire. Amen. It will burn to ashes. Amen. I burn them with fire. Amen. Somebody say, Lord. Burn them with fire. Burn them with fire. Wherever witches are gathered. Wherever witches are gathered. Burn them with fire. Burn them with fire. Anything I say, you will say, burn them with fire. Are you ready now? Yes, sir. Wherever witches are gathered, burn them with fire. Wherever wicked men gather, burn them with fire. Anyone that wakes up at night, burn them with fire. To call your name, burn them with fire. To do you evil, burn them with fire. Anyone using chance, 
Burn there with fire. Using magic. Burn there with fire. Using the incantation. Burn there with fire. To attack you. Burn there with to fire. To attack your children. Burn there with Any fire. Any man or woman. Burn there with that fire. That wants to kill you. Burn there that with fire. That is after your child. Burn there that with fire. That is after your mother. Burn there with that fire. That is after your father. Burn there with that fire. That is after your life. Burn there with Any fire. Any man or woman. Burn there with that fire. That has vowed. Burn there with that fire. That you will never marry. You fire. will never conceive any fire. man or woman that fire. has vowed that fire. you will never settle, you will fire. never get a job, you will fire. never get your toughness. Wherever they are, I burn them, them with fire. I burn them with fire. I burn them with fire. I burn them with fire. Shut burn them with fire. Say it seven times. Number one. Bonder with fire. Number two. Bonder with fire. Number three. Bonder with fire. Number four. Bonder with fire. Number five. Bonder with fire. Number six. Bonder with fire. Shout it louder. Bonder with fire. If you are watching online, type it seven times. Lord, burn them with fire. Type it seven times. Lord, burn them with fire. He said, Are thou he that troubles Israel? Israel is a family. A what? Family. A family. Elisha said, No, it is you and your father's house. The witchcraft of Jezebel. To terminate this trouble. The next verse. In the next verse, verse 19, he said, Therefore, gather. To me, all Israel to Mount Carmel and all the prophets of Baal and the prophets of the groove that eat at Jezebel's table. We must cut off the troubler so that the trouble can cease. Are you hearing me now? You don't wish trouble to go away. You must cut off what? The troubler. And the trouble what? We cease. When Elijah terminated all 450 witches, the Bible said the next thing we saw, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. Until the witches were dead, rain could not fall. Lift your hands. Anyone that would expire so that my breakthrough can manifest. I need, I need, I need them to my mind. Listen to this. Listen, listen, listen. For rain, because this was a season of severe drought in Israel. I need them to my mind. This was a season of what? Severe what? Drought. For three and a half years, there was no rain. There was famine in Israel. And when God wants to terminate this, he said, bring all the 450 witches to Mount Carmel. Elijah slew them on that mountain. And he said to Ahab, now I am hearing the sound of abundance of rain. Lift your hands. Father, so that I can settle. So that I can make progress. Anyone that needs to expire. The witches in my family that needs to be cut off. The wicked men and women around me that needs to be terminated so I can move forward. As I begin to pray, let them expire. Lift up your right hand say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I can't hear you at all. My father, my father. Say, father. Father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Any wicked man or woman any wicked that man needs woman. to expire to so expire. I can move forward. So I can move any forward. Any wicked man or woman any wicked that man or needs woman. to expire that needs to expire. so I can testify. So I can testify. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Let them expire. 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 Open your mouth. I got a bad Lord. Let them expire, Lord. Let them expire, Lord. Let them expire, Lord. Let them expire, Lord. 
woman that needs to expire so that I can testify. Lord God, as I begin to pray, let them expire. Yato kata yaka dosa kada erako to kaka dodo yaka tata tata yako dodo rekete paka mado sayedo erwa da 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 erako to sobega de let them expire. in life. Trouble is not accidental. It's not hypertension. It's not, it doesn't just happen coincidentally. Oh, no. When you see trouble, 
The Bible says, the Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter number 7, it says, Israel, they lost that day. Israel never lost a battle. So when they lost, when they began to see losses, they knew this was unusual. I am not supposed to lose with God on my side. If losing was a normal thing, they never would have prayed like they prayed. Because it was not usual for them to suffer losses like this. Bible says, and they bowed their face to the ground and cried to God, Father, why have we lost like this? He said, there is, a, there is someone in the midst. Lift your hands. Ah, you will not lose again. Amen. Ah, you will not lose again. Amen. That series of disappointments that you have experienced. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every sickness in your body, I don't know what it's called, but there is a name higher than every other name. Another mention of that name. Every knee has got to bow. Every sickness has got to bow. Whether in the heaven or in the earth or under the earth, Every time, shock and that Jesus is Lord. I command sickness to come out. I command Lord, lose him and let him go. Rabalabasha. Yakata parakata. Anyone that is said. And Lord, Lord, Lord. Tell somebody I, I, must, I must learn it. He Trouble is not a random occurrence in life. Trouble is not accidental. It's not hypertension. It's not, it doesn't just happen coincidentally. Oh, no. When you see trouble, the Bible says, the Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter number 7, it says, Israel, they lost that day. Israel never lost a battle. So when they lost, when they began to see losses, they knew this was unusual. I am not supposed to lose with God on my side. If losing was a normal thing, they never would have prayed like they prayed. Because it was not usual for them to suffer losses like this. Bible says, and they bowed their face to the ground and cried to God, Father, why have we lost like this? He said, there is, a, there is someone in the midst. Lift your hands. Ah, you will not lose again. Amen. Ah, you will not lose again. Amen. That series of disappointments that you have experienced. That series, pattern of disappointment in your life. Ah, I decree from today that disappointment is over. Amen. I said no more disappointment. 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 Amen. Come on, say no more disappointment. No more disappointment. Oh, say three times, say no more disappointment. No more disappointment. Say it again. No more disappointment. Say it again. No more disappointment. The Lord has 
this world. No more disappointment. If you are watching online, type it now. Say no more disappointment. No more. Type it. Say no more disappointment. Enough is enough. Your expectations will not be cut short. Amen. This month, this month, this month, last Sunday's message, your expectation will not be cut short. Amen. Lift your hands. Ali Badaha. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Any force and power. Any force and power. That comes to steal my testimony. That comes to steal my testimony. That comes to steal my expectations. That comes to steal my expectations. Any force and power. Any force and power. Preventing testimony in my life. Preventing testimony in my life. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. I burn you with fire. I burn you with fire. Say, Father. Father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Any force and power. Any for some causing losses in my life, causing losses in my causing life, causing disappointment, causing disappointment, presenting testimony, presenting testimony. As I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, I'm born you with fire, I'm born you with fire, I'm born you with fire, I'm born you with fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. <laughs> Lord, I 
Yado so belegede, eradodo. Yakoto so Maria bado, elaba lagada. Yakoto so, yagada bada, eradodo. Rekete perade, yakata. Elakoto, eradodo, eradodo, yakata, ta 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 ta, yakata ta ta ta. Whatever is preventing testimonies in your life, any man or woman that comes to harvest your testimony, they harvest your miracles, they harvest your breakthroughs. Right now, wherever they are, I burn them with fire. In Jesus' name. Amen. The, the, the spirituality of life is so terrible that if you are not in a praying church and if you don't learn quickly how to pray, you'll be in trouble. I, 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 are, you, are you listening to me now? Yes, sir. If you have not watched this program of our, our father in Minnesota, I beg you, go and look for it. A young lady, that girl is no more than 18. No more than that. He said, this girl is supposed to be a great scientist. A great scientist. But the enemy afflicted her. She's blind now in one eye. Her legs look all crackety. Unable to stand on her own. She looks skinny and bony. The enemy saw her tomorrow. The, the mother screamed. He said, my daughter was not just an honor student. She was among the honor, you know, what is it? She was in the honor roll of the honor roll. Lift your hands. Say they will trouble me no more. They will trouble me no more. You need to learn how to pray for yourself. You need to become a man and woman of prayer. Nobody is born with the gift of prayer. You learn it when you come to prayer meetings like this. Tell somebody I, I, must, I must learn it. I must learn it. You learn prayer the way you pick up an accent. By mingling among folk who talk like that, you will talk like that too. If you come close to fire, your body smells like smoke. You need to be in a place of prayer. Look at this. The Bible says in Ezra, chapter number 4 and verse number 4. The Bible says, and they troubled them. They weakened their hands. Somebody said they weakened their hands. They weakened their hands. For your hand to be weak, they were building the house of God and the enemy weakened their hand and they troubled them in the building of God's house. Lift your hands. Father, whatever, listen to me, except you are pregnant, you are not feeling well, you are elderly, you should not be sitting in a prayer meeting. Except you are elderly, you are pregnant, you are carrying a child. In prayer meeting, you stand like a soldier. Except you are elderly. You are not feeling well. Or you are pregnant. Or you are nursing a child. We stand in a place of prayer. Are we together? Yes. yes That's why God brought you. This is boot camp. To be trained in the art of prayer. Lift your hand. Say, Father. Father, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, say, Father, Father, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, anyone, anyone that has troubled me, that has troubled me, troubling the work of my hands, troubling the work of my hands, my goal, troubling my goal, troubling my purpose, troubling my purpose in life, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, I stone them with stones, I stone them with stones, I burn them with fire, I burn them with fire, any man or woman, any man. Troubling my life, troubling my life, my assignment, my assignment, my dreams, my dreams, my goals, my goals. As I pray, as I pray, I burn them with fire, I burn them with fire, I burn them 
with stones. Open your mouth. Trouble my goals. Your aspirations. I trouble my stones. I burn them with fire. Reketo so kada yalada. Ekoto so sobe lagade. Reketo so sobe lagade. Reketo so kada yagado sada. Elepe lege 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 lege. Koto so kada yalada. Mano woman. Trouble my goals. Trouble my purpose. Burn them with fire. Everyone trouble. The work of your heart. trouble them somebody sent me a picture earlier this week woke up with marks on their chest mark right here three fingers marks there are things that come to trouble many at sleep they feed them at night oppress them they molest them there are a series of things that are oppression that you are seeing at night Ah, I want to lay hands on individuals. All of you in the second row here, come. All of you in the second row, come. We are going to pray. Father, anyone that troubles me in my dream, anyone that comes through dream to trouble me, as I pray, I stone you with stones. Many of you are going to see hard dreams. Where you are seeing yourself, you will be stoning people you will be stoning things. Yeah. You will be releasing fire. Yeah. Are you hearing me now? Yes, I sir. want to release an unction now. That whoever comes to press you at night. They come to feed you at night. They come to oppress and molest you. Right now. In the realm of the spirit. I put the stone in your hand. Yeah. You will stone them with stones. Yeah, Amen. Tonight, 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 that which that comes to you at night, 
I said you will stun them with stones. Amen. You will burn them with fires. Amen. If you are having dreams of oppression, you are seeing oppression in your dream. You are being molested. They are feeding you. You are having all kinds of dreams where men are chasing you. Please run out. I want to touch your head. Come closer. See the Yele le bosha, ye to baria. Lord, as I pray, as I pray, any man or woman, any man or woman, any attack, any attack that comes to me, that comes to me, through dream, through dream, any attack, any attack that comes to me, that comes to me, by way of dream, by way of dream, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, I stone them with stone, I stone them with stone, I burn them with fire, I burn them with fire, any man or woman, any man or woman that comes to me, that comes to me true dream true dream to attack me to attack me to oppress me to oppress me in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus tonight, tonight. I stone them with stones I stone them with stones I burn them with fire I burn them with fire grab your hands Any oppression, any attack that comes to you while you are sleeping, oh my goodness, I feel fire. Something is happening. Something is happening. This is Mount Zion. Upon Mount Zion, there is deliverance. There is deliverance. Whatever they fed you at night, I cast it out of your belly. fire I break the attack 
I break their intention. I break their assignments. Whatever they are doing through that attack, as all you touch your head, the attack is broken. The witchcraft is broken. The attack is broken. The attack is broken. Anyone that is fed in the dream, anyone that is eating in the dream, whatever they are doing to you in the dream, right now, I release fire, 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 fire. power, 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 fire, power. Fire, 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 power, I release fire, I release fire, yala la bosha, I release fire, I release fire, I command fire, loser, 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 I pour fire, I pour fire, I pour fire, I pour fire. I pour fire. Lose and lose. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out of her. Fight. Holy Ghost. Lose and lose. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out of her. Come out. I pour fire. 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 I power. Not a motion. I pour fire. Power. An emotion. Power. I pour fire. I pour fire. Power. All of us. All of us. All of us. All of us. I command fire. Command fire, lift your hands. Power, power, power. La Koba Abasha. Power, loose, 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 loose. Come out, come out, come out. Loose, 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 loose. Fire, 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 fire. From the crown of your head, I pour fire. From the crown of your head. Fire, 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 power, power, whatever they get you, I release fire, power, fire, I trouble your trouble, anyone troubling you, I trouble them. I trouble them. I trouble them. I trouble them. I release fire. The Lord trouble them. Whatever they put, any charm, any witchcraft, any altar, they raise against you. I burn it to ashes. I burn it to ashes.
Losa, 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 Losa. Anyone troubling you? Anyone troubling you? Anyone troubling you? In your father's house, in your family house, right now, I stone them with stone. I burn them with fire. I stone them with stone. I burn them with fire. Be delivered. Be delivered. Whatever the fire to you, I command it to come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. I stone them with stones. I burn 
them with fire. Anyone after your greatness, I stone them with stones. I burn them with fires. I stone them with stones. Any coven where they have tied you, I release fire to trouble them. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose him and let him go. Oh. I command destinies to be free. Let destinies be free. Destinies are free. Anyone that has troubled you in your assignment, in your dreams, and in your pursuit, the God of my Father troubled them today. Stone them with stones. Burn them with fire. I release grace and glory. The God of my Father trouble them that trouble you. Trouble them that trouble you. The Lord troubles your trouble. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Somebody lift your hands and celebrate God. Come on, celebrate Him. Celebrate Him. Celebrate Him. Celebrate Him. Listen, under this hot atmosphere, take out an offering, a sacrifice, a seed, connect to these prayers. Wherever you are watching from, under this hot atmosphere, whenever you pray like this, be generous. Give God a generous offering. Lord, take, I lift up this offering. I lift up this sacrifice. Trouble them that trouble me. I lift up this offering. I lift up this sacrifice. Trouble them that trouble me. Take something in your hands. Uh, please, media, be smart. Uh, use the information on the screen. Lord, trouble, I lift up this offering. I lift up this sacrifice. Trouble them that trouble me. Maskaba, take one moment to do that. Very quickly. Take one moment. Take one moment. If you are watching online, Whatever you are watching from, whether you are in America, you are in Europe, you are in Africa, use the information being shown to you. All your sacrifices, your givings will be, will be, will be channeled towards the building project. Everything you are giving, all of you online, is going towards the building project. So please lift up a sacrifice. Lord, I lift up this sacrifice. Trouble them that trouble me. I lift up this seed. Trouble them that trouble me. Wherever you are, use the cash app. Use the cell. Use the PayPal. Use the information being shown to you. Hallelujah. And don't forget this Sunday's anointing service. Amen. It's the first Sunday of the month of August. It's anointing service. Please, every one of you watching online, I have an assignment for you. Every one of you watching online, listen to this. Do this now. If you have not subscribed, don't sign off without subscribing subscribe to this channel what you are doing through your subscription you are literally holding my hand when you subscribe and you touch the like button you are holding my hand to spread the gospel so please subscribe touch the like button hit the notification button do that now and leave a comment on there the Lord bless you once you are done, once we are done with this live broadcast, every one of you watching, every one of you watching, I want you to go to Google. Listen, whatever I tell you from this altar, obeying, obeying this instruction carries a blessing because I'm speaking as an angel of God. Are you hearing me now? Do go over to Google, search Omega Fire Ministry. Go to Google, search Omega Fire Ministry. Do that very quickly. Omega Fire Ministry Houston. Omega Fire Ministry Houston. Search us out on YouTube, I'm sorry, on Google and give us a five-star review. It has to be five stars. Say, Pastor, why? Because all these things you are doing, you are literally helping us share flyers online. And through those reviews, you are winning souls to the body of Christ. So do that now. Go to Google. Search Omega Fire Ministry Houston. 
Give us a five star review. Say something nice. Something real. Something nice about the ministry. If it has been a blessing to you, just let the world know. All these things you are doing, you are literally helping us to push the gospel. Now, as you do that, the Lord will bless you. Have you given your offerings? Have you given your offerings? Hallelujah. If it's your first time praying with us, this, if it's your first time, y'all sit down for a moment, please. If it's your first time attending Friday prayer meeting, just wave. Your first time attending prayer meeting on Friday. Wow. Wow. Please keep on waving. Keep on waving. Your first time attending Friday prayer meeting. Wow. The Lord bless you. Please, can you come? Let me greet you from the altar. Come. Where are my handlers? You know what to do. Be smart very quickly. Please come, come, come quickly. Keep on celebrating them as they come. It's your first time praying with us. Come. Wow. The Lord bless you. Wow. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. What a joy. Thank you so much. God bless you. I know you. Welcome home. God bless you. Who invited you? Oh, she did. There you go. Come, don't go yet. Now you have not become an evangelist. God bless you. Did you enjoy our prayers? What is your name? Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every sickness in your body. I don't know what is from altars. They are trying what no one in the family has ever become. Hear me, child of God. The moment you say to yourself, I shall be the first in my family to become what no one has ever become. I shall be the first to cross a certain threshold that no one has ever crossed. The moment you tell yourself that I shall be the head and not the tail. The moment you tell yourself that what stopped my father will not stop me. Get ready for actions. They will come from the woods. They will come from the village. They will come from your father's house. They will come from altars. They are trying to quench your light. They are trying to put you out. But I'm here to tell you, when God says yes, no devil can say no. When God lifts you up, no devil can pull you down. I am here to prophesy. Any power that has seen your future and is fighting you today, any power of altars, demonic altars, altars in your village, altars in your father's house, trying to prevent your life. If your amen is loud, that power go down. Amen. That power go down. Amen. That power go down. Amen. See now, we are about to pray. Ubalabaha. Makabadabaha. The number one archers that should concern you are eternal archers. Somebody say eternal. I'm speaking about altars in your family. Arrows from your background. Because a man's enemy shall be members of his household. Before a witch outside will fight you, the witch inside has sold you. You didn't hear me. Before a witch outside will fight you, the altars of your father's house have given you up. The Bible says in Genesis chapter number 27, in chapter 37, in verse number 18, in Genesis 37, in verse number 18, when you start from verse number 6, the story of Joseph began to unfold to us. The Bible says at the age of 17, tell somebody 17, the man began to dream. He will go to sleep at night and he will have dreams that the sun and moon were bowing down to him. And he woke up and told his dream to his brothers. And the Bible says his brother said to him, shall you indeed reign over us? In other words, who told you that you are going to be better than us? And the Bible says in verse number 18, they hated him for his dream. And one day his father sent to Saint Joseph to check on his brethren. The Bible says on his way, the Bible says the brothers of Joseph, they saw him from afar. They saw him coming from afar and they came and they conspired against him. They said to him, they said, let us slay him. In verse number 19, the Bible 
Bible says uh, they said to one another behold uh, the dreamer the dreamer is coming uh, I thought your neighbor said they see you coming come on say they see you coming I thought your neighbor said they see you coming they see you coming that is why all hell is breaking loose uh, because they see you coming that is why they can't sleep as night uh, because they see you coming they see you coming uh, like a caterpillar without breaks uh, they see you coming uh, to break record in your father's house they see you coming uh, to become the first graduate they see you coming uh, to be the first millionaire they see you coming uh, to become what no one has been before they see you coming uh, and i'm here to tell you they may have seen it uh, but they can't stop it they may have seen it uh, but they can't stop it Amen. i am here to tell you they may have seen it but they can't stop it Amen. i found your neighbor say neighbor they may have seen it but they can't stop it they may have seen it but they can't stop it i am here to tell you get ready where god is taking you eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not entered the heart of man what god will do it shall be good measure press down shaking together running over you don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power on your side. Grace on your side. Lifting on your side. Lift one hand shall fire. Fire. Raise another hand, shot fire. Fire. Raise one leg, shot fire. Fire. Raise another leg, shot fire. Fire. Turn around, shot fire. Fire. Scatter yourself, holla fire, fire. Fire. Clap fire, your fire. hand, holla fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Somebody fire. say, come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. Say for me. Say neighbor. They see you coming. <laughs> you know what's amazing? Many of you now, it just dawned on you about two, three years ago that maybe there is something great about you. It just, it just dawned on you. For some of you, it just hit you this year that maybe I'm going somewhere great. Some of you are just trying to process the thought that I could be great in life. Well, welcome. Uh, Johnny, come lately, but you are welcome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't catch up on time, but welcome. What do you think this battle is all about? You think you are fighting this battle because you are cute? You think this battle you are fighting is because you are tall, dark, handsome? The devil don't care about your beauty. He cares about where you are going. Are you hearing me now? He's trying to stop you. The way he stopped your father. He's trying to stop you. The way he stopped your mother. But I would to God. I have someone here who can put their foot on the ground. Say, what stopped my father? Will not stop me. What stopped my mother? Will not stop me. I don't know what stopped others. I don't know what stopped your sibling. What stopped your uncle? What stopped your auntie? What stopped your ancestors? I am here to tell you. Where all that stopped, you will place a trail. Amen. What hindered them, you will go past it. Amen. Where they ended, you will start from there. Amen. What limited them, you will run through it. Amen. For when men shall say, there is a casting bell, you shall say, there is a lifting up. Shut up. Yeah. Tonight, our focus of prayer is to liberate destinies that have been shot by arrows. You didn't hear me. Our prayer focus today is to liberate destinies that has been wounded by these arrows. The first message Jesus preached when he came out of the wilderness after a 40-day fast, he entered the temple and they gave him the Bible. He opened to the book of Isaiah. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me to preach deliverance. The 
that first message of Jesus was the message of deliverance. No wonder the Bible says, for this cause, the Son of Man was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. I came to prophesy every arrow of wickedness that they fire to your destiny that has held you back. If your amen is loud, receive your deliverance. Amen. 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 Clap your hands on fire. Fire. The first message. The first message. When Jesus was going to debut his ministry. As a matter of fact. The mandate of Jesus, sorry to tell you, it was not love. I, I, I have to tell you this. Because some of us, we have become nicer than Jesus. We have become nicer than Jesus. The mandate of Jesus was not love. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good healing all them that are oppressed of the devil jesus christ came to break the yoke of the devil in your life that yoke of the devil that has held you where you are beautiful and you are not married it has held you you are a graduate no good job it has held you all these years you are not settled I came to kill. I came to kill a witch. I came to kill a witch. Any strong man in your father's house, any deeper in your family that said you can't prosper, anyone waking up at night to make a contention using voodoo to attack you, using magic to attack you, shooting spells, using hex. I prophesy it will backfire. Amen. It will backfire. Amen. I said, go back to sender. Amen. The arrow they sent to you. I said, go back to sender. Amen. The arrow they sent to your career. I said, go back to sender. Amen. The arrow they sent to your family. I said, go back to sender. Amen. We're about to pray. But look at the sinner. He says the archers, they shot at him. He said in verse 18 of Genesis 37, he says, let and Genesis 37 and 18, they saw him coming from afar. You just discovered that maybe, maybe you have a great destiny. But they saw you when you were a child. You're not hearing me. You just discovered, maybe after listening to some positive messages, or maybe it just began to dawn on you. Maybe I could be great. Maybe while you are processing or trying to metabolize, maybe they don't saw it when you were six. They saw it when you was twelve. That is why there are some things that happen to you in your formative years at the age of eight at the age of seven at the age of eleven the things that till now you have not told anybody these are some of the arrows they fired to manipulate you and to close your light but they tried and tried but the god of heaven stood by you some of you now the secrets you are carrying if you were to know that the things that you went through as a child we are not random occurrence these were arrows these were attacks from the pits of hell to quench your light but the bible says god has light your candle and cannot devil put it out cannot witch put it out cannot evil put it out say my light will shine my light will shine we are about to pray look at this They said before he came near them, they conspired. They conspired. Look at it. They conspired to kill him. Put your hand on your head and say, Lord. Lord. 
Let me not become a victim of my greatness. Let me not become Say, I will not become greatness. a victim. I will not become a of victim. Of the destiny I carry. Of the destiny I carry. Now, they are about to kill Joseph. For no other reason. But because he's going somewhere great. See, I cannot die. I cannot die. I, Richard Gaho, No devil can terminate me. I am too blessed to be wasted. I am too anointed to be terminated. He's about to be wasted. Not because he attempted anything, but because they saw his tomorrow. You don't know the devil is fighting you. Not because of where you are today, but because of where you are going to. In verse number 19, look at this. It says, and they said, the dreamer is coming. Ayababa. Do I have dreamers here? Do I have dreamers here? Yes, sir. Oh my God. I said, do I have dreamers here? Yes, sir. Tell somebody I have a dream. Yes. Say I have a dream. And by God Almighty, I am coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Houston, I'm coming. Texas, I'm coming. America, I'm coming. My father says I'm coming. Do I have dreamers here? I says I'm coming. Say I am coming. Watch out Houston, I'm coming. Watch out for me Texas. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I am coming. Now watch it, we're about to pray. The Bible says, in verse number 34, in verse number 20, look at 20. In verse 20, they said, let us kill him and cast him where? In some pit. And we will say, a wild beast has devoured him. And we shall see what shall become of his dream. He said, we shall see let us kill him and we shall see what shall become of his dream the moment they said that heaven put a time stamp he said just as you have said it indeed you shall see you said he will never prosper you shall see you said he can never marry you shall see he will never graduate you shall see he will never have a child you shall see hear me what i tell you your enemies they are about to have a heart attack Amen. because what they said you will never have you are about to have it Amen. they are about to get a stroke because the news of your breakthrough is about to hit them Amen. what they said you can have god is about to give it to you Amen. good measure press down shaking together running over Shut yes, 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 yes. Sit down, church. We're about to pray in two minutes. We shall see what shall become of his dream. I am so glad that man is not God. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that man is not God? No wonder the Bible says, if he had not been for the Lord that was on our side, when the enemy rose against us, they would have swallowed us alive. But thanks be unto God, who has not given us as a prey to the teeth of the enemy. Our soul is escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken. We are free. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. No wonder the Bible says in 37 of Genesis, in verse 24, the Bible says, and they took Joseph. Oh my goodness. They took Joseph and they threw him in a pit. <laughs> the Bible says, and the pit was empty, had no water. In verse 25, to show you the wickedness of the enemy. When they had done this, 
they sat down to eat a sandwich. They sat down to share a sandwich. They don't destroy their destiny. And they are running a victory lap over a sandwich. My goodness, my God. But that was their biggest mistake. Because had they known, they never would have thrown Joseph into that pitch. Because the last time I checked, Joseph is the seed of Abraham. The worst thing you can do to a seed is to throw a seed into a pitch. Because the moment you cast a seed into the ground, it dies. But now, when it gets back up, the way it went in is not how it comes up. It went in as one, but it comes out as many. No wonder the Bible says, had the prince of this world knew it, they never would have crucified the Lord of glory. For as it is written, I have not seen, ears have not heard, it has not entered the heart of man. What God will do, hear me when I tell you, the thing the devil did to bring you down was the worst mistake they made about you for the mentee for evil. God is about to turn it for your good. Amen. They meant to bring you down, but God said to tell you the same attack they launched against you to bring you down shall be the same thing that will lift you up. Amen. They meant to bring you down, but you are getting ready. So go up. Amen. They said you will die. But get ready to live a long life. Amen. They said you will die in death. But get ready. You shall be a lender Amen. and not a borrower. Amen. They said you will cry. But get ready. You are about to celebrate. Amen. I am here to tell you what the devil meant to do. As we pray tonight, the opposite will happen. Amen. The opposite will happen. Amen. They said you will lose a child. But you are about to have a celebration. Amen. I am here to tell you what they said will happen to you. It will not happen. Amen. It will not happen. Amen. You will not cry. Amen. You will not shed tears. Amen. Get ready. You are getting up. Amen. You are getting up Amen. from the mud of clay. You are getting up Amen. from the pit. You are getting up. Amen. worst mistake of the enemy they took Joseph and they threw him in a pit the moment they did that they activated his destiny some of you now you are going through the things that you can't explain but God said congratulations Amen. <laughs> uh, you may not understand now you may not understand now but the time is coming. You will look back to the sands of time. And you will thank God for the battles you went through. You will thank God for those that broke your heart. Those that walked out on you. Those that said you can't be nothing. For the stone that the builder rejected has become the cornerstone. For we know that all things work together for good. To them that love God. To them that are called. Shut Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. The hours come. The hours come. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Say, father. father. As, I pray, As I pray. Every arrow, every arrow of wickedness, wickedness. Fired, against fired against me. Against my destiny. Against, against my education. Against my, against my career. Against, against my, my business. Against As I pray, I quench the arrow. I quench the arrow. Clap your hand and fire pray.
watching online stretch your hand connect your faith to my faith i speak over you every arrows of wickedness pointing to your life pointing to your destiny in the name of jesus i quench that arrow Amen. i quench the arrow Amen. hear me these things are not old testament paul told us when you read in Ephesians chapter 6 and 16, Ephesians 6 and 16, he says, above all, tell someone above all. Above which all. means if you forget every other thing, don't forget this one. Taking on the shield of faith. Whereby, you might what? You might be able to what? Quench the fiery arrows of the wicked. Now, I like how Paul puts it. Paul didn't just call it an arrow. He said, this arrow has a flame tip. You know flame? That it is dipped in fire. So that when it hits, it doesn't just pierce. It incinerates. Lift your hands. Every arrow fire to my destiny. Arrows from my father's house. Arrows from my father's house. Arrows from my mother's house. Arrows from my mother's house. Arrows from my hometown. Arrows from the place of my bed. Arrows from the place of my Arrows from my father's village. Arrows from my village. Listen, do it this way. If you know your hometown, you know your village, mention it. Are you hearing me now? Arrows from my hometown, mention it. Arrows from my father's village. If you know it, mention it. Arrows from my father's house. Call your family name. Any arrow pointed at you from this region, as we pray, I quench that arrow. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray, begin to pray. every arrow, every fire to my father's house. Fire my any arrow, every fire to my mother's house. Fire from my from the place of my birth. From my, from my home country. From my village. Against my life. Against my death. In the name of Jesus, I quench the arrow. I quench the arrow. Clap your heart. Say your prayer. Quench it. Quench it. Quench the arrow. Every arrow originating from your village, every arrow originating from your village, from your father's house, from your mother's house, pointing to you, pointing to your children. I quench it. I quench the arrow. Quench the arrow. 
25. He said the archers had sorely grieved him. They shot at him because they hated him. But I like the next verse. He says, but his bow, tell somebody his bow. His bow. A bow in strength. Now this is a prophetic proverb. When he says your bow, a bow in strength. Your bow means your life. It means your destiny. When a bow is broken, you can use it. The enemy fired that arrow to cripple his destiny. But thanks be unto God. They shot at him. But it backfired. They shot at him. Oh my goodness. Your greatest need in life is security. Tell somebody security. security. Can I tell you that? Is what? Security. What is a million dollars and you are not secure? Hello? What is a million dollars when there is no security? What helped Joseph? He said, they shot at him, but his bow remained his strength. The arms of his hand was made strong by his spiritual covering. Because he was under a covering. His hand was made strong. The worst thing the enemy can do to you is to give you a weak hand. A weak hand in anything. Equivalence failure. Whether in politics, in business, you have a weak hand in education, you can never succeed. But thanks be unto God that made his hand strong. Lift your hands. Every arrow fire to cripple my destiny. Every arrow fire to bring me down. Every arrow fire to bring me down. As I begin to pray, I break that arrow. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, every arrow fired against me to bring me down. Arrows of wickedness fired against me to bring me down. As I pray, let it return to sender. Let it return to sender. Open your mouth. Return to sender. 
on drugs because you know they are delinquent in society. No sir. Many of them you see out there panhandling. Many of them you see out there. They have a great destiny but the enemy terminated it. When you go outside and you see a light shining it is you will see incense gather around that light. Whenever you see a light outside, you see incense, box. They gather around it as it is physically, so it is spiritually. Nothing attracts arrows of the enemy like when you have a great light. In the game of football, it is the man that has the ball that has the heat. If you don't want them to attack you, drop the ball. You realize you're not important. What they are after is the ball in your hand. Lift your hands. The Bible says in Genesis 37 in verse number 18 they said the dreamer is coming and they began to conspire against him to kill him. Listen. He said in verse number 20 in verse number 20 he says let us slay him and cast him into a pit and we shall see what shall become of his dream. Lift your hands. Every arrow of fire to destroy my destiny. To destroy my destiny. Lord, as I pray, I fire it back. Amen. I fire it back. Amen. Lift your right hand and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to every pray. arrow. Every fire. Arrow. Fire. fire. From my foundation. From my every arrow. Every arrow. Fire. 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 From the cover. From 
witchcraft, witchcraft. from the altar. God destroy my glory. God destroy my destiny. As I pray, evil arrow, return to sender. Return to sender. Open your mouth. Every arrow, fire, don't destroy your glory, don't destroy your destiny. I return it to I shall not die. I shall not die. Say, my children shall not die. My if you are watching online, die. type it seven times. You will not die. Amen. You shall not die. Amen. You shall not die. Amen. Lift up your right and say, my father. Yeah, 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 yeah
imagine they cut it off they cut it off I'll never forget I'll never forget one of the nations we went to my father and the Lord Apostle Johnson Suleiman he called out a young lady he said young lady come he said the doctors gave you a bad report the girl burst out crying oh yes he said do you know why you have that disease he said, no. He said, because she began the PhD. You began a PhD. And they are angry. How dare she have a PhD? Lift your hands. I shall not die. I, I shall, shall not die. die. In Psalm 91 and verse number 5. He said, thou shall not be afraid of the terror by night. Nor the arrow that flyeth by day. It is not a coincidence that we are seeing arrows that fly by day in the same sentence with terror by night. Because for there to be an arrow flying by day, there was a terror by night. In the next verse, he said, not the pestilence that walketh in darkness. He says, not the destruction that wasted at noonday for a destiny to be wasted at noon day. There was something that happened in the dark. Lift your hand say, I cannot be wasted. I cannot be wasted. Come on, say, I will not be wasted. I will not be wasted. Say, my children will not be wasted. My children will not be wasted. My brothers will not be wasted. My sister will not be wasted. 
wasted. My son will not be wasted. My daughter will not be wasted. I will not be wasted. If you are watching online, type it seven times. I will not be wasted. Type it. I will not be wasted. Type it seven times. Everybody say it. I will not be wasted. I will not be wasted. I will not be say it seven times. Number one. I will not be wasted. Number two. I will not be wasted. Number three. I will not be wasted. Number four. I will not be wasted. Number five. I will not be wasted. Number six. I will not be wasted. The loudest one. Be wasted. Many of you, I will tell you this under God. I will tell you this under God. I will tell you this under God. The reason why God brought you to this house is to equip you and to protect your glory. I'm telling you under God, I will not be able to achieve my destiny. I did not been for the grace upon this ministry. Because where I'm coming from, sir, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Can anything good, you tell me, can anything good come out of Nazareth? There has been many who attempted to come out of Nazareth. It was terminated. Lift your hands. You don't believe me? Go and check something. Go and check something. Something was from Nazareth. They put him out in the prime of his life. Lift your hands. Any arrow of fire to waste my destiny, to waste my children, to waste my life. As I begin to pray, I fire it back. I fire it back. Lift your right hand and say, My father, my father. As I begin to pray, every arrow, fire to waste my life. Fire to waste my destiny. To waste my children. To waste my family. As I pray, I fire it back. I fire it back. Every arrow that has been fire to waste your life, to waste your life, to waste your children, to waste your sibling. I fire it back. I fire it back. Every satanic arrow, witchcraft arrow, demonic arrow that has been fire to waste your life, to waste your destiny, to waste your children, to waste your family. I fire it back. 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 Open your mouth. Fire it back. Whoever has got the peace, let them carry the arrow. Let them carry the arrow. Yeah, 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 yeah
seated except you are elderly or you are carrying a child but you are young and you are seated it's an error it's an error stand to your feet except you are elderly you are a mother or something Shabada Bahaya lift your hand Shakubada please accept you are you are a mother or you are not feeling well that's fine you are a mother you are not feeling well you are elderly that's fine you will be seated but if you are young and you are vibrant please stand to your feet stand up and lift your hands the God Lord they prepared for the head of Mordecai the pit they dug for Mordecai was the pit that swallowed her man lift up your right hand say my father my father I fire it back say 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 every arrow of sickness Every arrow of disease, every arrow of death, fire to my life, fire to my children, fire to my family. In the name of Jesus, I fire it back, I fire it back, open your mouth. Arrows of death, 
that was fired from the coven fired from the shrine fired from an altar to waste your life to waste your children to wreak havoc in your family right now i stretch my hand over you and i command that arrow backfire let it go back to sender 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 let go back to sender if you are watching online type back to sender type it now back to sender everybody type you are going to shout it seven times if you are watching online type it seven times back to sender back to sender back to sender everybody say back to sender number one back to sender number two back to sender number three back to sender number four there are many now you are on one spot not because you are not overdue for the next level but the short and narrow that you can never go past this point they are short and narrow that you can never be settled in marriage they are short and narrow that the only way you can you can have children will be outside of wedlock and that is why in your family you notice that people are having babies outside of marriage those who are married are the, the weddings are collapse there is an arrow walking there is an arrow walking lift your hands every arrow of stagnation fire to my life arrows of sorrow arrows of pain arrows of shame Arrows of, are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. As I pray, Lord, I fire it back. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Say, My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. As I begin to pray, begin to every pray. arrow every of, of sorrow, of sorrow. Arrows, of arrows of stagnation, arrows of sorrow, arrows of stagnation, arrows of shame, arrows of no progress, arrows of delay. Fire to my life, fire to my relationship, fire to my destiny. As I pray, I fire it back. Arrows of shame, arrows of sorrow, arrows of backwardness, arrows of delay. As I pray, I fire it back. I fire it back. Open your mouth.
from evil arrows. Amen. In Judges chapter number 5 when you read in verse number 11 we need to handle some areas in Judges 5 and 11. Everybody read this. He said they that are what? Come on read together church. They that are what? Delivered from the noise of what? Archers in the Places of drawing waters. They shall rehearse the righteous acts of God. Do you understand what you just read? What are the places of drawing waters? The place of drawing waters. These are vital places in life. The place where you draw water. It can be your career. It can be your business. It can be your education. But you are hearing the noise of archers in the places of joining waters. These are significant places. You are in a relationship where you should draw waters but there is an arrow. You are in a business where you should draw waters but they are shooting arrows. You are trying to attempt a career that you can fetch water but there are arrows. How many of you know that these are proverbs? These are proverbs. But I like what he said. He said they shall receive they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing of the waters. They shall rehearse the righteous act of God. So what are the righteous acts of God? Oh my God. What are the righteous acts of God? For those of you who are just so ooh, too nice, can, don't want warfare. Let me show you the righteous acts of God. Go to Second Cor uh, uh, Second Thessalonians one and six. You will see what it means. Look at this. They shall rehearse what? Huh? Go back there. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Uh, uh, Judges, Judges five and eleven. Judges five and eleven. <laughs> Judges five and eleven. He said they shall rehearse what? The righteous acts of God. So the question is, what is the righteous acts of God? Look at Second uh, uh, Thessalonians, <laughs> chapter one and six. He said one and six. It is a what? A righteous thing for the Lord to deal tribulation. Yakabana mana to deal to mint out tribulation to them that trouble you. God said this is righteousness when I deal with your enemy. It is righteousness when I destroy a witch for you. It is righteousness when I kill a deeper for you. It is righteousness when a strong man dies for your sake. It is righteousness. Tonight I prophesy the righteous act of God. It shall be found in the house of the wicked. I said the righteous act of God. It shall be found in the house of the wicked. Any man or woman that wakes up at night, that looks in the moon, looks in the star, and makes incantation, and calls your name, and they shoot an arrow against you, against your children, in the name of Jesus, from this altar, I command judgment. Amen. Let the Lord judge them. Amen. Let the Lord judge them. Amen. Lift your hands. Say, Lord. Lord. Anyone. Anyone. That wakes up at night. That wakes, wakes up at night. And makes incantation. And makes incantation. They look in the sun. They look in the sun. They look in the moon. They look in the moon. And they make incantation. And they make incantation. They take my picture. They take my picture. And they make incantation. And they make incantation. They look into a mirror. They look into a mirror. And they make incantation. And they make incantation. To shoot an arrow. 
tomorrow against me against me against my loved ones as i pray now as i pray now i command the arrow i command the arrow back fire 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 somebody shot back fire shot again back fire shot again we need to pray that place you draw water that is under attack it needs to be delivered Amen. they that are delivered Judges 5 and 11 they that are what delivered, delivered from the places of the drawing of water where do you draw water there are many of you now. Where you draw water now is under attack. These are proverbs. Are you doing some proverbs? Lift your hands. That your career that is shot an arrow. That your education that is shot an arrow. You are writing exam. You can't pass. You write exam. You write exam. You write exam. You still can't pass. They shot an arrow. You are getting jobs, but they can't. You are not able to sustain a job. It is an arrow. You are you are underemployed. Lift your hand. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. Begin every, to pray. Arrow, every arrow. Fire to the work of my heart. Every arrow. Fire to the works of my heart. To my career. To my education. To my business. As I pray. Deliver me. Deliver me. Open your mouth and pray. Upon my Zion, there shall be deliverance. 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 There shall be deliverance.
that they fire to your body. Yaka paka 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 pa. Somebody here, you are seeing blood, 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 blood. Whatever that thing is, that blood. Sharara, sharara, sharara. I command the blood to dry up. Amen. Let it 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 dry up. Amen. Come here. Come. Bring your father. Come quickly. Shabadaba. The power of the Holy Ghost. Ooh. 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 Ah. What a joy to fills my soul. I'm here because something happened. And now he touched me and he made me He touched me. He It's okay, bring it. The arrow of sickness, the arrow of death, they fire at you. The arrow of sickness, the arrow of death, they fire from Congo. The arrow of sickness and death, they fire from Congo. Right now, right now, anyone that wants you dead, I command them to die. Let them expire. Let them expire. You are free. I lose you. I lose you. From the arrow of death. Be free now. Whatever they fire at you, let it back pass. Come out. Come out. Come out of here. Come out of here. No yoke of death. I break the yoke of death. I break the yoke of death. Come out. your life Amen. every arrow of wickedness that is contending you maritally to deprive you from the joy of settlement in the name of Jesus Amen. as I lay hands on you I command that arrow come out loser 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 now I release fire 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 fire, fire. fire. come out Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Pick her up. Yakabadabaha. Makabayabaha. Yakabadabaha. Yakadabaha. Loser. 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 Loser, 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 come out, loser, 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 come out, loser now, loser now, loser now, loser, 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 and I'm what a joy that feels my soul. Come, 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 come. I know. I know. He 
what they did to make you cry. They said the joy of a mother, you will never have it. Whatever they did to make you cry as a mother, right now, right now, let the arrow, let it be broken. 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 The glory of your children. The glory of your children. Let it be restored. Let it be restored. Wherever they hid them. Wherever they hid them. All the children. Wherever they cage. Their glory. Their glory. Wherever they hid them. Wherever they hid them. Right now, Amen. right now, Amen. right now, Amen. I deliver them, Amen. I deliver them, Amen. I deliver them, Amen. I deliver them. Amen. The Lord is wiping somebody's tears. Amen. The arrow they fired that say you will cry. Right now, I wipe the tears. I cancel tears. I cancel tears. I cancel tears. I cancel tears. was tampered the glory that was tampered whatever men took from you whatever they did from you don't tamper your glory your wasted years the years the caterpillar age the years the locust took the years the pama one took right now Amen. i command glory Amen. take it back Amen. take it back Amen. take it back you now. Amen. I lose your glory. Amen. I lose your glory. Amen. I lose your glory. Amen. Loser, loser, loser. Amen. Loser, loser. Amen. Loser, loser. Amen. Loser, loser. Amen. Loser. Recover. Amen. Recover. Amen. Yes, son. Sabadabaha. I command the arrows. Of wickedness, let it be over. Amen. I command the arrows to be over. Amen. Let doors open. Amen. The arrows they fired to close your doors. Let it open. Amen. I command the bridge. Amen. Can I pray for you too? Amen. But the power of the Holy Ghost, the key of your family, the key, the key, Shabadabaha, Soko Patesko Pana, in Tobaria Sandandeha, Bariza Komanitaha. Open your hands, open your hands, both of you, open your hands. Open your hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, the key, the key to come out of altars by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let grace come upon you. Amen. The power of the Holy Ghost. I decree the mighty hand of God. Amen. I decree the grace of God upon you, son. Amen. I decree the grace of God. Amen. That God will use you. Amen. To break altars. Amen. To break foundation. Amen. Let the glory of God rise upon you. Amen. I speak blessings upon you. Amen. I speak blessings. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord says, I'm giving out 24 keys. Today. Amen. 24 keys. Amen. 24 keys. Amen. 24 keys. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's all the time we have to, for this service. We have to close. We have to close. If you are watching online, every one of you, God bless you. Please be seated. If you are watching online, touch the like button now. Every one of you, touch the like button. Just touch it now. If you are watching online, touch the like button. Listen, if you are watching online, if, you are, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe and touch the notification bell. Do that. You say, Pastor, why? Because the days of sharing flyers are over. Through your comments and your subscription, you are helping us advertise the gospel. So please, touch the like button where you are. Subscribe where you are. Hit the notification bell. You are helping us to push the gospel. Would you help me preach the gospel in your locality? Please do that now. Touch the like button, subscribe. Do that very quickly. Let's take up an offering to honor the Lord. If the Lord will lead you to raise a seed, please feel free to raise a seed as the Lord leads you. If you are watching online, please use information that has been shown to you to raise a seed for yourself. Raise an altar as the Lord leads you. Don't be under any pressure. As the Lord leads you, you're watching from Europe, Africa, wherever you are, use the information being shown to you. S raise an altar, S sow a seed as the Lord leads you. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, um, uh, don't forget we are building the house of the Lord. We are building God's house. So please, if the Lord has, if the Lord will lead you to join us to build the house of God, please just take one of these forms. Amen. And find out how you can be a blessing to the house of God. Amen. Are you, are you being blessed today? I hope every one of you have touched the like button in-house. Have you done that? Everybody in-house. Have you done that? Please do so. Don't just say, oh, I say it all the time. No, please do it. It's very important. Touch the like button. Hallelujah. Please take, a, take an offering in your hands very quickly. Take an offering. Don't forget Sunday we are here at 9 a.m. Or 11. Amen. 9. So our Sunday service. For those of you who may not know. We have two services on Sunday. 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Amen. Please make sure you are a part of this service. Tomorrow Saturday we have God of Hannah. Tomorrow Saturday we have God of Hannah. This is strictly for those who are believing God for the fruit of the womb. You are married. You have no children. Or you have loved ones who are married. They have no children. Have them come tomorrow for God of Hannah. The time is 12 noon from 12 to 1.30. You have to be married and waiting upon God for, the, for children to be in that service. You cannot just attend it. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. If you, are, if you are visiting us for the first time, can you just wave your hands? Your first time worshiping here. Just wave your hands. Oh, wow. God bless you. Do we have anybody else first time? Worshipping here. Wow, God bless you. First timers. Wave, wave, wave. Let me see you. Wow, God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Can you just stand? Let's just see you. Let's just, let's just love on you. Just stand. God bless you. Can we show them some love? God bless you. We're so glad you came. We're so glad you came. God bless you. At the end of the service, I'll just see you briefly, okay? God bless you. Please, you may be seated. Can we share the benediction? Please stand to your feet. Let's share the benediction. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I said, God bless you. Oh my God. 
Wow. Those of you in prayer band, don't forget prayer band starts in 45 minutes. For those of you in prayer band. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, you have to be a registered prayer band member. Not somebody who is just zealous to join. No. You need to be registered. So you can't just join. Yes. So, prayer band, you can't. Please be aware. It starts by 10. So nobody should be here. Unless you are a registered member of our prayer band. If you want to join prayer band, you have to um, you, have, you have to see me and we'll put you through the vetting process to make sure you can, you can qualify for it. Amen. For those of you who are pre-registered already for prayer band, we start by 10 tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord, we bless your name for this meeting. Thank you for answers to prayers. Thank you for all you have done for us. In Jesus' name. Put your blessed hand over your head. Say, my head is a good head. My life is a good one. Favor is on my side. Mercy on my side. Grace on my side. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Please, those of you watching online, I want to appeal to you. Or those of you watching online, please do me a favor. If you can go to Google, go to Google for me and search Omega Fire Ministry Houston. Search it on Google and leave us a review. Give us a five-star review. Please go to Google for me and just give us a five-star review. Amen. It will help us to win souls. God bless you. God bless you. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every sickness in your body, I don't know what it's called, but there is a name higher than every other name. Another mention of that name. Every knee has got to bow. Every sickness has got to bow. Whether in the heaven or in the earth or under the earth, every time shall confess that Jesus is Lord. I command sickness to come out. I command sickness to come out. I command barrenness come out. High blood pressure come out. Disease come out. I don't know what you're going through. There is power here today. It will set you free. It will deliver you. It will lose you. I don't know how long you have suffered. There is power here. It will set you free. It will lose you. I don't know who you are. But get ready. You are God. It's a battle too. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not entered the heart of man. What God will do. It shall be good measure. It shall be pressed down. It shall be shaken together. It shall be running over. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power on your side. Power on your side, power on your side, power on your side, power on your side. Lift one hand, shot fire. Lift another hand, shot fire. Raise one leg, shot fire. Raise another leg, shot fire. Turn around, shot fire. Scatter yourself, hand of fire. Yeah. Somebody say, come on, hold. Brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every sickness in your body, I don't know what it's called, but there is a name higher than every other name. Another mention of that name. Every knee has got to bow. Every sickness has got to bow, whether in the heaven 